Hello! Uh, the Omodigi G1 tab uh, is the best comic book reader tablet for me. And uh, I'll say this is the best tablet I've ever owned because it is also the only tablet, the first uh, tablet that I have ever purchased. Uh, and this, this little video is my tale of reduced expectations, of lowered expectations um, of to why this is, I am super happy with this purchase that I've had. I've now had this tablet for about two or three weeks of, of test driving it. So this isn't some kind of unboxing video where I kind of look at it and I kind of show it to you and that's it. I do actually have a little bit of, ah, what, how, how it's been going. So why this is the best tablet for me is because I could never make an argument for why I actually needed to buy a tablet. Why I actually want, would be able to actually kind of kick up the amount of money that it would take to purchase one because it seemed like for the longest of time a i'm not an apple guy and i didn't want an apple device and b i don't have the money so why would i spend the money on a tablet when i you know if my phone dies i'm gonna have to chunk up actual cash for that it's like why I, I just couldn't i could never make the argument to actually buy a tablet and the really cheap budget ones were still even kind of crappy ones seem to be kind of like the two to three hundred dollar mark and it was just like that's that's just too much for me too much for me um so you know and really uh, i i do everything i i, I write on uh, my phone here with a with my um wireless keyboard i uh i have a kindle somewhere about here <laughs> i have i have my kindle for when i you know for for e for e-reading so i don't really need a tablet except except and this would come up year after year for the last good number of years since there's been tablets it's like uh it would be really nice to have a tablet to be able to read comic books uh e-comic books uh you know everything else books even though i've got all this this these books in the background i've really shifted to e-books for the most part and uh, there's a part of me that thinks it's like that's probably what if I was going to be into comics uh, and not just a li the library picking up physical comics that way. I, that's probably the only way I was going to I'm, I'm actually would continue continue reading them. So I kept on getting this urge, and finally I came upon this. Uh, the I had a, I had that I had that craving again, so I went on our the a Amazon, which is. This, this is the font of all evil and the font of all our stuff. Uh, and found this, the Umadigi G1 tablet, which uh, has the crucial, the crucial selling point for this for me was other than, you know, semi-decent, um, basically a lot of ads that say, it's pretty good for what you, you're you paying. Like you're, you're paying for what you get, but that's, it's pretty good. It, I got it for $95.99. This is November, uh, 2023. So I got it for that crucial under a hundred dollar mark, which is, that was it. That was where, that was the psychological point where I was like, okay, that's kind of mad money for me. That's kind of like, okay, I can have fun. You know, it's getting near Christmas. It's getting near my birthday. I I'll splurge on myself. So I did, I did. And I, and I, and I, and I picked, and I picked this up. So yeah, it's, let me pop this thing open. It is a 10.1, uh, you know, 10.1 tablet. As I said, it's, uh, you know, it, what is it? It's a model MT10. It's got, oh God, here, I, well, for all you tech geeks out there, it's got an RK3562 4X cortex dash, uh, a53 uh, CPU, whatever the hell that means. Um, I'll, I'll, I, I can tell you experientially what that means as we go along. Um, you know, yeah, it's it's got its resolution is tw uh, 1280 by 800 uh, pixel resolution versus like you know um, my my wife is an iPad Air you know liquid Retina and it's like 20 2300 60 by 1640 pixel res resolution inky inky blacks i put these two side by side and it's like oh yeah the i'm not i'm, I'm not making any claims that this under a hundred dollars tablet is anywhere anywhere in the vicinity of um a and i of any ipads probably for the last many many years you know 
it's got no it's this is this glass isn't damage resistant it's never going to leave the house so i don't i don't think i really care about that it doesn't have a stylus or a detachable keyboard um it's got bluetooth and i bought this key this apple keyboard it's the only apple thing i have for like about three bucks in a thrift store and i use it for my phone here and i'm I, it, it cooks up to that so if i if i desperately wanted to i could uh use it use it the, the keyboard on it you know it's bluetooth 5.0 earphone port uh type uh c usb uh plug so i, I actually i was able to sideload a bunch of comics that i happen to have already into it uh it's got a uh, 6000 milliamp battery which seems to hold up pretty well for somebody who i you know almost getting down after you know three or four days i can just i can plug it in again i mean this is early days who knows if it the, the battery on it won't just immediately kind of kind of crash you know and performance wise i i noticed just from my phone and stuff like that this it's pretty laggy you know this is one of these things of like if you were a gamer or anything like that, you'd be insane to buy anything like this and expect it to do anything. This is checking your emails or reading your comic books or um, a reading. I, I've got I've put um, I've put Kindle on here. Uh, you have to. It doesn't have a. You always have to put in your PIN number if you if you're if you're to to open it. It doesn't have any like fingerprint reader or retina. You know that, all the stuff that would make you cost you more money. But yeah, like, you know, I've got Kindle on here. I've got Comic Screen on here, which is a free comic book reader thing. YouTube, Libby, my library thing I've just put on here. So uh, I'm going to try reading on here, even though uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I like I like that with my Kindle, I can read it in the bath. And this thing I'm never going to take near the bath. I doubt very much it is particularly water resistant at all or anything like that. I, I'm... I'd be, you know, I assume a little bit of steam and this thing will uh, blow up. But, you know, it's it's one of these things. It's like, yes, I'm reading Zot, uh, Scott McCloud's Zot on here. So uh, for for my for, for my needs, that is perfectly lovely uh, picture picture resolution for reading uh, what I like, which are fairly, fairly kind of, I don't know, well, crude isn't the right word, but I'm not looking for photorealistic crisp crispy colors and things like that i'm i'm quite happy i'm quite happy with this and it, it's been it's been a delight to read on i've read that i've read i've definitely used um just sitting on the couch i found myself using the kindle the kindle app and you can see it takes a little while for it to like finally pop open there yeah see that's how much lag is on it uh, just to open the kindle app and so it's one of those things like, like once you're in a book you're flipping pages. It's not like stuttering there, but if you had uh, my wife watch, plays uh, Genshin in Impact on uh, her iPad, and it's like, my God, this thing would just melt if I tried to do that. So yeah, yeah, I just I just wanted to share uh, my 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 glee that I was able to find something under a hundred dollars uh, to read comic books on. Um, and to, yeah, maybe perhaps I'll transition, read some books, uh, read some books on it from the Kindle. Uh, I might even try, um, I've, I've been told that Libby is better at, uh, kind of saving your page again. So, uh, I might, I might do that, but yeah, see like, yeah, it takes a while. Yeah. The best American food writing 20, 2019. Let's see if it actually opens to the page I was on last, which was, I think it's just the, just the beginning. Eh. And it's again, it's interesting. It takes a little while, but actually, yes, it took me back to the forward where, which is where, which is where I was. I found, I, I used Libby a while ago, on probably a year or two ago. And I just found, I gave it up, gave up trying to use it on my phone because it would just never, ever save where I was in the book. And that was just so annoying. I just kind of, I gave up in frustration. So we're, I'm going to try, I'm going to try Libby again on here. Um, so yeah, yeah under a hundred bucks. I am figuring if I get two years out of this thing, I am laughing all the way to the laughing all the way to the bank. I will have spent my hundred dollars. Uh, well, I bought a, uh, it has a micro SD port in it. So I was able to, um, greatly expand its memory. I think you can go up to like a terabyte. I think because it's just going to be comic books and books on here, I'm not going to be loading movies or anything on there. You can watch, you can watch YouTube on here and it plays, it plays YouTube 
uh, perfectly well, which is surprising because I found I was in Google Documents and it was stuttering a lot. Uh, it actually, it actually did a it did a lot less than that when I was just preparing for this thing. But it's not a rough you know, hours. Uh, well, uh, Steve. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna. That wasn't a. That that's probably not the best one, but you know. Yeah, so it slowly, slowly, because well, it plays ads fairly well. This is criminal, criminal where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, but, disturbing books. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing an update yeah, on my so disturbing books project. It, it actually plays YouTube videos fairly well, which is good. I mean, I don't think I'm going to watch movies on here or anything like that. I don't, that's not my plan, but yeah, yeah. It's, I'm super happy. I'm super happy. I guess I just wanted to share my happiness with everyone. So it's like, it's not like I'm recommending this particular tab to and this, this uh, tablet to anyone. It actually took me a, a hunk, good hunk of time to actually get it to actually um, work. Like it's, it is one of those purchases where you kind of cross your fingers and like, okay, I'm starting it. Okay. I'm trying to get it to hook to the internet. Oh my God. It's not hooking to my Wi-Fi. Oh, it's not working, hooking to my Wi-Fi. How much did I just waste under a hundred dollars? And it's like, oh no, I got it to work. I got it to work. <laughs> that, that might be my, my, like my four star review of the Umi, Jumi, Umi Digi uh, tablet is it works. And everything else is gravy, especially if it maybe works for the next two years. Fingers crossed. All right. I will leave it there. There's my little, little fellow. I also, it had, it had the annoying Google search bar and stuff like that. So I put uh, Nova Launcher, Nova, the Nova Launcher on here to kind of get rid of that. So I can have my rather minimalist uh, desktop here with a couple of folder, folder files on a, on a simple thing that's that this is my idea this is how i have my cell phone set up this is how i want my tablet set up so it's definitely got uh with android 13 it's very much got that the thing that i love about android versus apple uh stuff is that you can just you can you can fiddle and you can tweak and you do do a lot of stuff and it it's like they're like we don't care <laughs> fill your boots just buy our stuff we don't care um, that that is that the 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 kind of the, the that kind of ne negligent uh, kind of indifference that uh, we I value in Android products versus like oh we're gonna craft your experience in Apple but that's that's a that's a whole different thing uh, I am I you know m my wife would not want this a majority of people wouldn't but maybe if you're a comic book reader this would be a possibility. And, you know, if you order one and it's a brick, uh, don't blame me because I do th I do think there's a non-zero chance that you might order it and it would be a brick. Uh, please don't sell, sue me, uh, Umi Digi people. Um, they, it's all been quite lovely. I got an email saying, oh, we've got a one-year warranty, so if you have any troubles, please feel free to email us. Uh, I don't know what would happen if I had troubles. Probably the amount of time investment that would be involved if I did have troubles uh, would be would far outweigh the actual cost of, of this device. So there is that too. So I am, I am, I'm very blase and quite happy with it. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.